All this week, News 4 is taking a closer look at the impact of the Supreme Court overturning of Roe versus Wade. In one study, researchers at UC San Francisco tracked outcomes for women who were denied abortions and found many were more likely to live in poverty. News 4's Amy Cho has more on that and an interview with a young person who is sharing their abortion story and the impact it had on her life. When Lerada Lee Wallace became pregnant in 2020, they were in college at Ohio State University and didn't feel ready to raise a child. I know for a fact that I wouldn't have been able to finish school and I also wouldn't have been able to pursue my career. Lee Wallace got an abortion and now works as an activist for the group Abortion Out Loud, helping other young people in similar situations. Having children um, is not a part of the plan anytime soon um, for me and I know that I have lots of goals and things that I want to accomplish. Throughout the U.S., researchers have been examining the impact of unwanted pregnancies, like in the Turnaway study done by a team at the University of California, San Francisco. They interviewed a thousand women seeking abortions and tracked how their lives went for five years. The study found women denied abortions were four times more likely to live in poverty and three times more likely to be unemployed. People who are denied abortion services they just fall further and further into poverty. Marcella Howell is president of the group In Our Own Voice, National Black Women's Reproductive Justice Agenda, based here in D.C. Howell says her group works to support black women and access to health care, which includes helping people afford to travel if needed to get an abortion. We will set up a safety net process that will allow black women and other women to basically assert their rights to be full-class citizens. The Turnaway study also found women denied abortions were more likely to experience debt, bankruptcy, and eviction. Lorada Lee Wallace now lives in California and says they'll take abortion rights into account when deciding where to live. That's the conversation that I'm having with a lot of my, my peers and my friends as well. A lot of folks are like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking about this now when I'm, you know, submitting my grad school application. Conversations that echo all around the country as the impact of the Dobbs ruling will be felt for years to come. Amy Cho, News 4.